happy Thanksgiving day, I guess. Take two. Happy Thanksgiving day holiday. It's Monday. It's the Thanksgiving day holiday. And because it's holiday Monday, I'm on my way to go have breakfast with some friends. One of those friends is Mick. He organizes this whole holiday Monday breakfast thing. And uh, Noel's probably going to be there and a couple other people. Noel's not the real name, by the way. Uh, yeah. So, it's nice to do that. Nice to get together for people. Have breakfast, see how they're doing. Good breakfast. Okay, breakfast is great. Nice to catch up with people. Now, I've got uh, a bunch of stuff I have to do today. One of the things is I've got to do a little bit of a plumbing repair for someone. And uh, I also have to fix my Volvo. I want to put the uh, oil pan back on it uh, today. Get it on at least and... Uh, uh, yeah, then maybe get to get at putting the uh, turbos together. I see my mom coming down the street up here. There she is. <laughs> I'm not going to stop and talk to her. i got to keep moving. She's out walking that mean little dog. Disobedient little thing. Funny to see her out wandering around. Uh, it's the first time actually I've seen her out just uh, wandering around walking the dog. Okay, now I get to wait for a train. Yay! I've got the trailer with me. So I'm gonna go by the shop, grab some tools, figure I drop the trailer off at the shop. It's out of the driveway here. And it's closer to the uh, place where I had to go get rid of the stuff. And I'll do that someday this week. On my way back home, oh, I did that plumbing thing too. Uh, earlier, uh, it's done. it was simple. It was a ball cock for the toilet, which is the filler upper thing, and uh, a washer and a hot water tap. Oh, I'm under the car again. Now it's time to put things back together. This is a washer that goes on here, which is the dipstick. Lubricated this with the, the uh, engine assembly lube, which is really thick and it won't run. So I don't want any to get on the, the gasket surfaces over there. I can fit my uh, rubbers in here and here. I'll get my gasket material all around. That's that anaerobic stuff. So that's how anaerobic sealant is supposed to be applied. It goes around every bolt hole. It's a one millimeter strip. One to two millimeters. Around every bolt hole. Now, I can put that back together. Let's go get paint. Hands hung up on something. Oh, that's great, sweetie. I don't know how it's going. Look at that. It's up. I've got to put in all these bolts, but I've got it up and in place. It's kind of a pain to get in. You've got to fight over here, and fight over here. Well, I've had to cut part of the uh, subframe. So, it's all just installing bolts now. Okay. Get on that, torque them, put on my oil cooler. Actually, no, I'm gonna leave my oil cooler off. I wanna get another clamp. So I'll leave it off to remind me to do that. And yeah, it's coming together. Yay. So if this will focus, there we go. All that stuff oozing out is that gasket that I uh, installed 
and that's perfect. That's exactly what you want to see is that nice even ooze out. Down here too. And there's some spots there that I thought that the gasket or the uh, pan touched, but it didn't. Doesn't matter, I'm gonna leave it. So, this side, same thing. Oh, well, except I've had my arm up in there and I've rubbed it off. And there's some. Okay. That is good. Pan is on. I'm gonna leave the oil filter off so I remember to put oil in it, leaving the oil cooler off. So I remember to get a clamp, got my motor mount on, everything under here is done, except for those things. Now I can get at uh, those turbos. I'm going to install my turbo, put it back together, I guess not install it, install it in the car when I'm done. Got a gasket or two, the one gasket is the return oil. This gasket goes here. This is the uh, turbo gasket. There's a notch here. There's a pin there. Oh, forgot this. I'll pull that apart again. This only goes in one way. It's grooved on this side. It's flat on this side. The groove side goes up. It's not in yet. It has to be tapped down. Make sure the back gets in right. That side. There we go. You can tell it's in by the way it sits in there. It's all even all the way around. It should be good and tight. And that is. One down. I'm gonna leave these plugs in until the uh, turbo's ready to go on. What I am going to do is put some of this assembly lube in there. So that's one turbo done. The reason I put the assembly lube in is it's going to be the only lubricant in there until the oil gets pumped up from the uh, from the oil pan. So I want there to be some type of lubricant there. I know there's, it's only going to spin for 0.6 seconds or something, but I want it to be lubricated. I don't want failing turbos again. So now I'm going to set this one aside to protect it. So I don't want that to be damaged at all. And uh, pop the other one in its spot. Then they'll be ready to put in, which I won't do today, but I'll do it in a, someday this week. I can hear a squirrel climbing on the side of the garage. That's it. That's all there is, is to rebuilding two turbos. Or, I shouldn't say rebuilding. Installing new uh, cartridges and two turbos. It's pretty simple, other than getting it out of the car. That's the hardest part. Okay, now I've got these out. I can put them in. It's not going to be today. I'm going to take the rest of the day and relax. Maybe do something with the family. It's a holiday Monday, and geez, I've already fixed a toilet and fixed a shower. Now I fixed the Volvo partly fixed it. Well, I'm out here. I may as well take apart one of these turbos and see what the failure is. I can't get the one apart that broke. It, uh, it's broke. It's not coming. The uh, part, you have to loosen this nut on it here and I can't hold the shaft because it's inside the housing. On this one, however, I can hold the shaft. So 
So here's one of the bearings. See how it's scored? It's not good. Shaft is scored too. On here, there's a ring. This is an oil ring. That's uh, one of the ways that oil stops going through this. It's all carbon up. Should be another oil ring in there. But it uh, doesn't look like there is. So these bearings are supposed to be a nice pressure fit. But this is, it's just worn out. It's, it wobbles. If you can see it or not. When you rebuild it, turbo proper well properly when you rebuild it and you take it apart yourself you get all these little bits and pieces to uh to rebuild it so that goes on there and then this rides up against it this is just another oil flow regulation thing it goes underneath of this so it gets oil over and uh, yeah, so that's it. There's your turbo. Not supposed to be wobbly. This one is wobbly because it is no good. I'm getting this other one apart. Stuck a screwdriver in. <laughs> Never do this, and it ruins your turbo. I held it on the shaft there, so. end of that and something else that's uh looks like it's been it looks like it was pitted beforehand maybe it was just a structural failure in the shaft who knows well, it's a pile of turbo parts. Thanks for watching again.